Hey guys, it's your boy Homer Ziggy. I'm back in here with another video, and today we're gonna be reacting to Lil TJ's 2020 Double XL Freshman Freestyle. Now, it's like this: you already told you what I was gonna do. I'm, cause basically I've just been keeping on track on why people, on why the artists was on the Double XL free, Freshman Freestyle. So, well, basically on Double XL. So and it's like this we're almost like halfway there so i'm gonna be reacting to this one the tj's and the roddy wave rod rod wave so you say rod wave freestyle because they released it about yesterday so today's august 26th they released it back yesterday so just be on the lookout for the rod wave free, freestyle one so but we're gonna check the little tj out and Apparently, a lot of people have said that Lil TJ had a little line where it says she's a she's a virgin and it's hurt it's hurting something like she says she's a virgin and it's hurting. I don't know why he said something like that. I don't know why. So, and in the comments they're saying that he didn't say it here. So I don't know because I don't keep in track of that, but. Either way, let's see if he did say it or did not say. So, we're about to check this video out. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. Only 19, I'm experiencing life. Mama says she proud, cause my future looking bright. And I ain't took my chances, I ain't talking about no dice. I know I'm on probation, but I'm still gonna keep this pipe. Niggas watching ice. Every nigga you see with me down to take a life. I earn my stripes, so well respected, I got sent this twice. I'm a mom. So, alright, so for whenever I'm hearing a little TJ song or a feature on him, you know how he has that way out of tune voice. It's not like all the two out of tune, but it's all the tune in a way, but. To actually hear his voice real good, he sounds good, no doubt, no homo, so don't even slap. But he sounds good so far. But let me just read it. And I ain't took my chances. I ain't talking about no dice. I know I'm on probation, but I'm still gonna keep this pipe. Niggas watching ice. Mm -hmm. Every nigga you see with me down to take a life. I earn my stripes, so well respected. Mm -hmm. I got sent this twice. I'm on my way to the top now. Fuck the other side. We don't care about ops now. I done made it here. I'll be dumb if I stop now. Haters on my body. Fuck it. Look how I pop now. About to cop a new whip just so I can flex. There they go with this dang camera angle. Like, stop doing this. Like. We want to see the artist face to face, not upside down, inside around or whatever. Stop doing that. But I'm beside the point of that camera. So far, the bar is... He's speaking real facts now, though. Talking about he earning his stripes and stuff. That's what the double XL... This, that was the description for his freestyle saying that he earned his stripes. In a way, the way how he's rapping right now and so... You can... Alright, so... Whenever a rapper is like doing a freestyle or s doing their song and so, you gotta picture it. You gotta picture yourself if they actually did it. If you look at a certain type of rapper, you have to see if he actually been through the struggle and so and so. So, with the way how he is, you can definitely tell. If I stop now, haters on my body, fuck it, look how I pop now. About to cop a new whip just so I can flex. Honey told me, plus I got some diamonds on my neck. AP on my wrist, but I should get a new protect. Life's gonna go, homie, look at how I'm dressed, moving every step. I know these niggas mad. I'ma run it up and put them hundreds in the stash. Oh, oh. <laughs> that little singing on them and such. But, but all right, just a couple of things. One, they need to stop doing those dang camera angles. Cause, what's the point of doing that? We're trying to look at them face to face, not up, not upside down or on top or whatever, face to face. But besides from that little thing, this freestyle so far. All right, so people I've seen on Instagram people saying that who has the best freestyle so far, Lil TJ. Apollo G. To be honest, even though his was a little short, Lil TJ's short, Lil TJ's own was short. Between Lil TJ and Apollo G, I don't know. Cause when we heard Jack Hollows, and the thing is, 
when you heard Jack Harlow's when that when he said they were down for the cause, apparently he was talking about the Black Lives Matter movement. So in a way, that right there is that right there just like like basically like like Jack Harlow's freestyle more. So cause since he's talking about the Black Lives Matter movement. So that's why he was talking about changing though, because I didn't know about that. So I didn't know it was contained to this, but either way, he did his thing. Lil TJ did his thing. I like it, so. But let me know what you were thinking down in the comments below. But, and just, alright, so for the record straight now, I just did a video of how I do my reaction videos. So if you haven't gone see it, go check that out. And there's gonna be some glitches. There's some glitches in the end that I apologize for and so but you're gonna see so and the thing is when you come so and I like and people wonder why I post people always wondering do I post every day and so and so. It's not that I post every day and so but I always I like to just give you guys content. Cause I don't want when I'm sla I don't want when I like saying if I reach do I do reach the hundred subscribers, right? I don't want when that happens I start slacking off, I don't be continuous how I am. And it's like this. They always say have quantity No, have quality over quantity. And and it's like this. Yes I wanna keep giving you guys content and all but I don't wanna just be there for just being there. It's gotta be from what I ex it's gotta be from what happens around my surroundings. Like whether it's from a person who contact me on Instagram saying that I should react to their videos or a friend of mine want me to give them like try to produce their brand or whatever like their products and so and so. Or it's just simply if it's like I did with like what I did with my sister's neutral burst thing, right? That was just me. that was just from me, my pers myself. But it's like this. At the end of the day, if I'm going, I just like to create content, so that way it can show. And the thing is, when you see that video about how I create my videos, yeah, I'm I know I messed up in there, but it's like this. That just shows you how I'm not professional yet, but I'm still learning a lot of stuff. Cause I know I'm not gonna be perfect. Nobody is perfect, but. Once I learn from the mistake, then I'ma keep on, then I'ma keep on building. So, so for one, for that video at the end, I apologize. And two, I'm just that's just the start. This is just a start for me. So, and who knows? Maybe I will do this full time. Well, we don't know. But, but it's like this. At the end of the day, if you like what that, if you like, if you guys like what, see, that's what I'm talking about. Like I like. I like to slur my words a little bit. Just shows you that I'm not perfect. I don't have, I don't. It's like this. Whenever I'm, once I click the record button on my camcord, I don't have nothing written out. I have nothing planned out. I just go what's off my head, straight up, unfiltered and all. So whatever you get caught right here, it is what you get. Don't edit out nothing. The only thing I edit out, the only thing I'm editing is just the video you see so where well, you see like right around here so but it's like this at the end of the day it is i am who i am so but it's like this let me know what you think down in the comments below for the video it's been your boy humble ziggy signing out stay positive and keep the vibes up let go